Hey guys, it's Rachel. So I just got back from vacation. I had an awesome vacation. Um, I was in Barcelona and then I was um, along the French Riviera, which was beautiful. The Mediterranean Sea redefines blue. Um, I had an amazing time and I wanted to do a haul video of all the things I bought um, during my vacation. Um, so these are the places I was in. I was in Barcelona, then Lyon, then Nice, then Cannes, then Monaco, Saint-Tropez, Marseille, and Aix-en-Provence. So lots of different places, um, but most of my stuff is from um, Barcelona and Marseille. And um, it's mostly from Zara and H&M, but I have a lot of stuff to show. Um, so I'll just get started. So the first thing I bought, um, I was desperately looking for some new shoes. Um, I show, showed in my one of my other hauls um, in the winter, I bought some really cute booties, um, little boots that were really comfortable, um, but great for the winter is to wear with skirts and dresses, because um, I do like to have a little bit of heel. I am only five foot two. Um, so I bought those, and I then I realized I wanted something similar for the summer, you know, a nice shoe that would look great with all of my dresses, um, but that would have a little bit of a heel, so it wasn't just a sandal. And I found the perfect shoes after much deliberation, Literally one day, I like tried on all these different shoes, and I said, okay, I'm gonna go home and think about it, and the ones that stick in my head, I'm gonna come back and buy, and it was these ones. And they are from Zara, and they were actually pretty inexpensive. They were 30 euros, which is about $45. Um, I thought that was a pretty good deal because they're really nice. Um, they're beautiful, like camel leather, which I think is gorgeous. Um, and they have a little X strap here, and they have a really stick, thick, sturdy heel. Um, it's pretty high, actually, if you can tell. Um, but it actually is really pretty comfortable, um, so I love these. Um, and I thought they were a total great deal. They go with pretty much all of my summer dresses because of the color. It just blends in with your skin, which also elongates the leg, which I really like. Um, so those are these from Zara. Um, so cute. So next, I got a lot of stuff at H&M. I love H&M. I don't have, there's not one in Nashville, so now that I'm in Europe and near one, I just kind of go crazy. So what I got at H&M, um, first I got this little shirt. It's like a cropped tee um, that's royal blue with little ponies on it. And it's not something I would usually wear, but I tried it on, it was so comfortable, and I think it's really cute. Um, it just kind of, you know, hangs off and looks really cute with jeans or like a tight black skirt. Um, so I really like it. It has a little pocket, um, but it's not very long. And I think it's really cute. And it was really inexpensive, like 10 euros, I think. Um, I also got new sunglasses because I lost my sunglasses. You guys, so upset. I had fake Ray-Bans from Chinatown, um, so I lost those. But I wanted kind of the same style, so I got these ones from H&M. They're kind of similar, but I think they're cute. Um, they're not as cute as my other ones, but I like them anyway. And I needed sunglasses for my trip, so I got these. Um, and the last thing I got from H&M is what I'm wearing. It's this um, really cute animal print dress. Hopefully you guys can kind of see it. Um, I just think it's super cute. I usually don't wear, um, I don't know, I don't have any prints like this. I thought it was kind of fun, and it was only 10 euro, and it's super comfortable, um, and just easy to wear to the beach, or I sometimes I play, uh, pair it with my trench coat so it looks a little nicer. Um, I actually wore it out to dinner tonight, so that was really fun. Um, so that's everything I got at H&M. Um, and then I went to um, Sephora in Marseille because I needed a new Urban Decay 24-7 um, Glide-On Eye Pencil, my favorite eyeliner of all time. Um, without a doubt, I love this Edson Zero, um, which is a total deep black, and I usually wear this just in my um, waterline um, to make my lashes look a little bit darker, but I really love this stuff. Um, and I couldn't find it in Angers. It's, um, I had to go to a bigger Sephora in a bigger city. Marseille is the second biggest city in France after Paris, so they definitely had it. Um, lastly, I went to this really adorable store called Pull and Bear. It's actually a Spanish brand, but I actually went in Marseille, which is weird because I was in Spain. Anyway, but, and I needed a new bathing suit, um, so I found one I really like. I hope you guys like it too. Um, the top looks like this. 
it's a bandeau top um, with stripes. And this store, it kind of reminds me of if, like, kind of Hollister and Urban Outfitters put together. I know that's a weird combination, but it totally reminds me of that. It has kind of the beachy feel of um, Hollister, but kind of the, I don't know, funky urban feel of Urban Outfitters. So anyway, this is the bathing suit. Um, this is the top, and it has a really cute little string if you want to wear um, it over, obviously, like this. Um, but obviously, you can remove it if you just want to wear it as a bandeau. So that's super cute. And then the bottoms are actually polka dot. Um, the same two colors, dark uh, navy blue and light blue, and then the strings match the strings on the top. So it's actually a mismatched bikini, but I really like that. I think it's more trendy and cool to have two different pieces like this that still go but don't necessarily match. Um, so this was good. Um, it was around 30 euros for both pieces, um, which was pretty good deal for bathing suit. Bathing suits can run pretty expensive. Um, it's going to be such a short video. What Did I get anything else? I think that is everything. Yeah. So, oh, and for those of you who are wondering, I'm wearing my hair today totally natural. Um, this is what my natural wavy hair looks like, and um, I just decided to give it a shot to wear it um, kind of unnatural for a few days. Uh, my friend Jill said it looks cute. It's kind of like a huge lion's mane. Um, but I hope you. But let me know if you guys like this style, um, or if you guys want to know how to do it. Uh, it's really easy. Uh, I can do a little tutorial about how to get this look by just drying your hair naturally. Um, anyway, that is everything. So be sure to check out the European Adventure, my new channel, um, which is all about my travels in Europe, studying abroad. Um, traveling. I'll have a new video up about my fun times that I had on vacation in Barcelona and along the French Riviera and Jill will have a video up too so be sure to check that out and um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!